550 Top Startups, welcome. We're going to start this afternoon with a brief 10-minute uh, uh, talk from uh, Yusuf Bashir, who is the Managing Director of the Infosys Innovation Fund. He has some, uh, uh, some info to talk, something to give away to you guys, very valuable. Uh, this, uh, he'll, he'll explain what they do, and then uh, right after that, we have a very exciting speaker. Uh, I'm just going to introduce him in a minute, uh, as soon as uh, uh, this is done. And after that, I got this envelope right here, and this is what you guys are all waiting for. And our chairman of Tycon, Meng Shukla, is going to be here in about 10 minutes, and he's going to open this up for you guys. Thank you. Thank you everybody, it's an honor and pleasure to be here at this great event. And I'm standing between here and this great unveiling of this opening of the envelope, so I'm going to try and be as quick as I can before you start pelting eggs. Um, so anyway, my name is Yusuf Kashir, I work at Infosys. Many of you know Infosys, you've probably seen the video that was running during the keynotes. Um, I just want to spend a couple minutes here just giving you some information about what we're doing around the startup scene. Uh, many of you may have heard recently that we announced um, the availability of an innovation fund, the Infosys Innovation Fund, which is a $500 million fund that we've just set up. Um, our CEO, Vishal Sikha, is going to be talking about this uh, today at 5.45 during the keynote. So if you weren't sure whether you should be at the keynote, um, definitely recommend that you head up there and, talk, and uh, listen to Vishal talk about the Innovation Fund. Let me just give you a very quick primer on what the Innovation Fund is. So when we first had the, had the idea of setting this up, it was really about bringing us and the innovation that's occurring in this startup ecosystem closer together. Now, some of you may know the Infosys story. In 1981, seven startup guys got together and had this idea. And with $250 in seed capital, they started a company that went on to become Infosys. So being a startup entrepreneur is in our DNA. Our very first founders with uh, the, the principles of, of startups and uh, you know, running lean, and being agile, talking to customers, and making sure that we can test your hypothesis early. This was something which was deeply ingrained in the DNA of Infosys. And as we've grown now to an $8 billion a year company in revenue, we've tried to at least instill that within the 169,000 employees that we have. That always be close to the customer, always be innovative, always look out for the new technologies. And we've gone now to a size that we've really recognize that there's a lot of innovation, while there might be a lot of innovation going on within Infosys, there's also a ton of innovation going on outside with all of you guys and many other startups that we meet every day. And what we're seeing are some really interesting trends that we know will impact not just our services business, but will impact everybody's lives. Right? The groundbreaking innovation that you're developing is gonna go out there and quite literally change the world in one way or another. And what we want to do is to support that with you. So this fund that we've started um, is, we're not a typical VC, we're not looking for purely financial returns. You know, many of you have gone out and maybe spoken to VCs or raised VC money and are familiar with that. What we're really looking at is more of a partnership-based model where we talk about your solution and talk about how our client engagement that we have and the many client accounts that we have, um, whether we can, partner together and take your solution to market, help you achieve growth and scale. Whether the product experts that we have in-house or the vertical industry experts that we have, whether you could leverage them to get deeper into client accounts or open more doors or go across greater geographies. Uh, maybe you're based in India and looking to come to the US market or going to Europe or vice versa. That's something we can help with. And so taking capital from the, from the innovation fund is something that not only will give you capital to work with and hopefully a greater runway, but hopefully open more doors as you go into those client accounts and talk about how Infosys is backing you and how we've made this partnership a lot more solid by investing in you as a, as a startup. So that's the quick overview. Um, you might be thinking, okay, this sounds great, maybe a bit too good to be true. <laughs> So um, how do I get more information? And there's a couple of things you want to keep in mind or may, maybe jot down. There's more information on our corporate website, so emphasis.com forward slash innovation fund. So that's a great place to look. 
Um, you can also contact us within the Innovation Fund team by emailing innovationfund at infosys.com. And, and both of these, uh, this URL and the email address will also be hopefully popped up during Bishal's keynote as well tonight. So um, again, Yusuf Bashir, I'm based here in Palo Alto. Um, happy to meet with you in case you're interested in talking to us about the Innovation Fund. Would love to hear about your ideas and, and your own startups. We have some slots tomorrow available. Um, some of you may have noticed that uh, in, in the uh, exhibition hall we have a booth with a room. We're actually meeting one-on-one -on -one with startups and we'd love to talk to you about your ideas and see how you're doing and how we can potentially work together. So go to the web address that I gave you, emphasis.com forward slash innovation fund, and there's a button there where you can send us a note and you can set up a time, 15 minute slot tomorrow, we can have a quick meet and greet and exchange cards and hopefully talk a bit more uh, about what you're doing and seeing how we can work together. So on that, thank you again. It's great to be here and look forward to meeting many of you in the next uh, day and a half. Thank you.